China's U-22 rover is quietly making history on the far side of the moon, and it's time we talk about why these matters. Originally designed for just three months, this resilient rover has surpassed all expectations, now operating for nearly six years. But what's really fascinating is the new data and images it's sending back, offering unprecedented insights into the moon's most mysterious region. In this video, we'll explore U-22's latest discoveries, explain how they were achieved, and break down why this mission is a game-changer for future lunar exploration. If you're ready to dive into the latest breakthroughs in space exploration and understand what they mean for the future, keep watching this is a mission you can't miss. The U-22 rover, part of China's Chang'e-4 mission, made history back in January 2019 when it became the first spacecraft to land on the far side of the moon. This region had never been explored in person before, and the mission faced significant technical challenges, including communication difficulties and harsh environmental conditions. U-22 was designed to operate for just three lunar days, about three Earth months. But here we are, nearly six years later, and U-22 is still going strong. What makes this longevity so special? For one, the moon's far side is an incredibly hostile environment. Temperatures fluctuate drastically between the lunar day and night, ranging from extreme cold to scorching heat. There's also radiation from space and no atmosphere to protect the rover. Despite these challenges, U-22 has managed to survive 71 lunar days, covering over 1,600 meters. It has provided invaluable data, including detailed images of the von Karman crater, one of the moon's largest impact basins, which offers clues about the moon's geological history. This is groundbreaking because the far side of the moon is vastly different from the side we see from Earth. The surface is older, more cratered, and less understood. The data U-22 sends back helps scientists fill in the gaps, providing clues about the moon's early formation and the solar system's history. For example, U-22's observations of surface composition give us a better understanding of how the moon's crust has evolved over time, and its data on the shallow structure beneath the surface offers insights into how impacts have shaped the lunar terrain. The images released during China's recent mid-autumn festival celebration are particularly exciting. They show U-22's drive tracks, craters of various sizes, and distant lunar hills. These images are not just snapshots, they are scientific gold mines, they allow researchers to map the lunar surface in incredible detail and study features that could give us insight into what lies beneath the surface, potentially even pointing toward water or other useful resources. U-22's ability to operate for nearly six years has proven the durability of China's engineering, but more importantly, it has opened up a new chapter in lunar exploration. Although U-22 is still operational, recent data shows that the rover has been slowing down in recent years. By September 2022, U-22 had covered 1,300 meters of lunar surface, but in the past two years, it has added only about 305 more meters to that total. What could be causing this slowdown? The moon's harsh environment likely plays a significant role. Over time, the rover's mechanical systems are exposed to extreme temperature swings and constant radiation which can wear down components. Additionally, the terrain on the far side of the moon is rough, filled with craters and uneven surfaces that make navigation more challenging. But the reduced distance traveled doesn't necessarily mean the mission is less successful. In fact, U-222's ability to keep sending back data despite these challenges speaks to the mission's resilience. One possible explanation for the slowdown could be that scientists on Earth are becoming more selective in directing the rover's movements. Instead of covering large distances, the team may be focusing on exploring specific areas in greater detail, prioritizing scientific data collection over sheer distance traveled. Another interesting aspect to consider is that China's space program is now juggling multiple lunar missions, including preparations for the upcoming Chang'e 7 mission which will target the moon's south pole. This may mean that U-22 is sharing resources and attention with these newer missions, 
it's possible that the focus has shifted from expanding the rover's range to maximizing the scientific value of the data it continues to send back. Despite the slowdown, U22's work is far from done. The rover has already provided key insights into the geological evolution of the Moon's far side, including data on surface morphology and material composition. Understanding these elements is crucial for future missions that may one day bring humans to the Moon's far side. Moreover, the more we understand about the terrain and composition, the better equipped we are to search for vital resources like water, which could be crucial for long-term lunar exploration. U22's success isn't just about what's happening right now, it's laying the groundwork for China's future lunar ambitions. China already has a robust plan in place for further lunar exploration, with missions like Chang'e 7 scheduled for 2026. This mission aims to land at the moon's south pole, where scientists believe there may be water ice trapped in permanently shadowed regions. The presence of water would be a game changer for future lunar missions, providing a critical resource for astronauts and paving the way for longer stays on the moon. To support these missions, China has two relay satellites, Kuikiao and Kuikiao-2, in lunar orbit. These satellites act as communication links between Earth and U-22, allowing the rover to send back data from the far side of the moon, which is always facing away from us. The success of this relay system is crucial for future missions that will also target the far side or other hard-to-reach areas of the moon. What's particularly exciting about the Chang'e 7 mission is that it could be the first to land at the lunar south pole. This area is of immense interest to scientists because it's believed to contain water ice in its permanently shadowed craters. If water is found, it could support human exploration and even serve as a resource for future missions to Mars and beyond. U22's work is helping to prepare for this by providing detailed information about the Moon's terrain and environmental conditions, which will inform how future missions are designed and executed. China's long-term goals for lunar exploration go beyond robotic missions. There are plans to eventually send humans to the Moon, and U22's success is an important step in that direction. By understanding the far side of the moon in greater detail, we are one step closer to establishing a more permanent human presence on the lunar surface. And as we look toward the possibility of building lunar bases or extracting resources, the work done by U22 will serve as a foundation for those future endeavors. As we've explored today, the U22 rover is a testament to both engineering excellence and the power of perseverance in space exploration. Initially designed to last just three months, this incredible rover has been operating for nearly six years, sending back invaluable data that has deepened our understanding of the moon's far side. From its incredible longevity to the new images, it continues to send back. U22 is a shining example of what's possible when we push the boundaries of exploration. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.